Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Melania Trump, way back when, way back before Trump was politically involved, was she some sort of a plant way back then to kind of get, uh, because Trump had lots of connections with high people, so was she some sort of a plant? And, and, this, and the way things work in Russia, you know, Vladimir could say, look, you go in, you get everything you want. You know, if you need to have a baby, whatever you need to do, but you need to be there when I need you. Okay, and when it's all over with, you can stay, you can go, you can keep the money, whatever you want to do. But um, once you're in, it will help you get in. I can see that happening. So that's what the video will be about. I uh, hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Poor Melania. How is she going to fare in all of this? Or was she in on it all along? Was she there uh, leading some sort of a some sort of a normal life as just the girl who got lucky and married a rich guy? And uh, and then in the last uh, minute, when was it that Vladimir decided that he needed his payoff? Was that ever part of it, or was she just a, a slick girl? who is at the right place, if you want to say that, at the right time for her to, to get this gold mine of marrying Donald Trump. And when she married him, he wasn't bad looking. And he wasn't as nuts, I think, as he is now. So that's what we'll be about. But first, let's take a moment of meditation. Melania, a plant. <laughs> so, let's see. Melania Trump, was she a plant? Or was she just lucky? Three cards for that, just to get warmed up. Three cards, Melania Trump, were you a plant? Does Russia have you in there? Or were you just lucky? Okay, first card. Star card, well, no, she was a star. This tells me she was a star okay this is someone who starts out simple um but um so i'm gonna leave it right there next card are you were you a plant are you a plant six of swords moving out of troubled water yeah this has to be in order that's all she was doing she was she was moving out of her uh middle for russia middle class existence moving out of troubled water and then the last card is the ten of swords it's all over now it's all over now. She wasn't a plant. She just was a star. She was shining bright. She was trying to find better herself, and but it's done now. It's all over except for the waiting. So no, she wasn't a plant. So, but I wanna know if somehow during her life, was she useful to Putin during her time there with Trump? Was she useful to Putin somehow while she was with Trump at any time. Three cards, one, because that's, it's been a while. Two, three, well, I guess the age of their kid, 15, 16, 20 years coming on. Um, yeah, ever useful to Putin. 10 of Cups, 10 of Cups is happy family. So this is, um, I won't say that they were a happy family, but the t signifier for this little three card draw is that no, it was about making that family. Next card is a five of wands. Five of wands is um, pointless uh, arguing, pointless bickering back and forth, actions, pointless actions back and forth. Was she um, ever useful to Putin? And the nine of pentacles, no, she's just a rich woman. The nine of pentacles is just the wealthy lady. So no, 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 no. It was, uh, it was about family as much as someone like uh, them can delude themselves into thinking that they're gonna have family, but it was, it was focused on that. She was in it for, to, to see if she can make it work, if she can't, she can do the next best thing. Five of Wands, there was the endless, pointless um, 
confusion or conflict that was part of her life that was it's always going to be and always was part of her life and in the end no the goal was just for her to be the privileged woman which she achieved wow interesting and then a six card draw what can the cards tell us about melania's life after trump because there will be after trump she's a young woman she's going to be around after he's dead for whatever reason okay She's going to be, and I don't think she's going to be guilty in any of these legal actions. And I'm sure she's got money stashed away, separate from everything he might lose as a result of this. She's got, she's got a stash. So six cards, Melania after the fact. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Melania after the fact. Okay, let's see what we've got. Signifier. Knight of Cups. So, and it's interesting how this card is depicted because it's not depicted in a fun way. Now, if you can look kind of through this fish, what you're going to see, I'll try to outline it. This is a horse's head right here, and it comes down. These are the shoulders of the horse, the front two legs of the horse. So the front is looking, the horse is looking at his head on, and what he has on top of him, he has a knight riding him. Okay, these are the legs of the knight, and this is the armor of the knight right here but the whole th and, and the knight of cups is emotional so she was always going to and is still stuck in the position of being a sort of a knight for the emotion the compassion part of this relationship but it always was a red herring or it always stank like a fish okay then that's the signifier that's who she is she is the knight fighting for some sort of emotional basis whatever they can scrabble up as that but it always was either red herring or not real or stank uh, the challenge to that was the, the fool so we could, the journey the journey was the challenge when she started off on that it was like being an actor for the rest of your life and and, and just waiting for those moments when you could be free which there were probably a lot of them after she fell out of um, favor uh, you know, probably after the first few years, she's off on her own, off to the races, spending money. The basis of this whole thing now, life after Trump, is justice. Justice is what's going to set her free. All of Donald Trump's injustices are what's going to get him, move him out of the way. She won't have to do a thing except be patient. And that's what's going to set her free. That's the basis of all this. I'm sure she can't wait. In the past, this is the chariot. Okay, chariot is things coming on quickly. And this is in the past so everything is already set in motion as far as justice is concerned and the sky this from melania after trump is the nine of swords and the nine of swords is a nightmare so the best this can ever be for her um it's always going to be in her past the nightmare that she lived um it's not like she married a king or or a, 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 a truly rich guy and has a beautiful fairy tale life to talk about no the life she has to talk about is a nightmare it's something that won't be coming up in polite conversation if she's invited to any dinners where polite conversation is is spoken and the final outcome for melania trump in the long run is this ten of wands is wands are actions plans forward movement this uh girl has got those wands strapped to her back and it's a load to carry and that's what she has to pay for the riches. And it's probably well worth it. A price she's very happy to pay, I think. Uh, she's a strong, determined woman. And uh, just like Ivana, it was about the money. The, the first wife, Ivana, it was about the money. And uh, that's what it is for her. It's a load that she will have to and can carry. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these cards are, are the, just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist uh, is Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson, Ciolo Thompson. And it's, this is called the Line Strider Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. It comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this. is Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot. So very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glossy finish. It really feels uh, like a 
the precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just, there's really good quality. The book is full color. And it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that uh, she's a self-taught visual artist and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck. So the first published deck anyway. And then in, over here she's talking about this was a journey for her, and uh, the line starter deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery, and that it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now she grew up uh, where she grew up in. Uh, she was born in uh, Western Samoa, and then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia, and so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood, and um, and brought a lot of attention to the cards. So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing but I mean they're a gentle spirit they're a good quality of card you know they're stiff they're uh, slicky but they don't cause a problem they shuffle uh, really well and um, so you know they're just great and then they're very easy to interpret and the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there what's on the card okay so you don't have to just rely on the imagery but if you really look at what's drawn on there it's pretty amazing I mean and then you start to wonder why did she uh, allow, uh, allow this animal for this particular uh, divination so the beautiful cards good suggestions in the book how to um, you know use them and I just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're we're doing our shtick and then um, you know, maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards. If you don't see a lot of cards, I know when I was just watching um, this stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.